Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Companies in the marine industry are struggling to find ways to attract younger consumers and offer lower prices, while simultaneously complying with stricter environmental regulations. Well, according to our guest today, solving these problems may begin with something as simple as the paint you choose for your yacht. Joining me is Fred Daou, General Manager of Yacht Americas for Axo Nobel's Yacht Paint Division. Axo Nobel has two strong brands in the U.S. market, Interlux and Allgrip. Welcome, Fred. Hello, Jackie. Thanks for having me. Fred, tell us more about the challenges the marine industry faces currently. One of the biggest challenges we have as an industry is, is getting new people into boating um, and getting people out on, on the water. Uh, boating is a great leisure activity. Um, it's accessible to all ages, whether you're going out on a boat alone or you're going out as a couple or you're going out as a family. Spending a day on the water is a great way to spend the day. Um, a second area that we, we have as a challenge as far as an industry goes is the perception and, and, and often misconception uh, that boating is very expensive and it's for the elite only. Mm -hmm. and, and that's actually not the case. There are a, a wide range of, of boats and sizes that are available to people that hit all the different budgets and all the different income brackets. Um, a third area that, uh, that, that, that we face as a challenge is the environmental regulations. And, and rightfully so, understandably, uh, the regulations are stricter today than they have been in the past and um, it does cause some areas is a confusion for businesses that are operating in the boating uh, industry as well as sometimes some confusion for boat owners. Which type of boaters would these paints, Interlux and All Grip, be good for? That's a good question. Um, we, we manufacture a full range uh, of products um, for, 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 for anything really from a canoe up to a several hundred foot super yacht. Um, and we also manufacture paints for the do-it-yourself market, for the people that want to paint their own boat, um, as well as a full range of products for the professional applicators uh, that you would take your boat to and have it professionally painted. Well, let's find out more about how Interlux and All Grip are impacting the industry in this 21st Century Business Field Report. Probably the most important thing to our customers is looking for a company that will stand behind all their products and take care of it whenever they have a problem. Uh, the other aspect is they like to know that uh, the finish they're going to use will come out perfect and that they're going to be very pleased with the end result. New technology is always coming to us uh, constantly, so we're constantly introducing new products. The technology, when most people would think it would be getting less and less, it's getting better all the time. We're finding new avenues and uh, new resources. So uh, we look to remain on top for the next 20 years as well. What does the future hold, do you think, Fred, for the recreational marine industry and, and for your company in particular? We, uh, we look forward to being able to continue to take advantage of the, of the growth that's going to come in the, in the coming five to ten years, as I discussed. Um, we have some great product solutions within Interlux and All Grip. We have some fantastic people working and supporting us, and uh, we continue to look forward to, to the growth. Well, thank you so much, Fred, for coming on the show today and for sharing Axo Nobel solutions with us. Thank you, Jackie. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.